All right, let's look for it. Part three. Got uh, a lot of grounds here. So you got a ground for each pickup. Ground from the input, and that weird ground hooked to the bottom underneath this plate and the pickup cavity. Got the pickups swapped out, got the antiquity, Seymour Duncan antiquity. 56 pickup in here, pretty nice. Got the Seymour Duncan gold covered quarter pounder up in here. I had to put a piece of foam under there and I had to use actual pickup adjustment springs because the asshole that routed this out for a humbucker took, the, took wood away so that it wouldn't mount properly. The old school wood screws wouldn't, wouldn't mount. A little too boingy, boingy, springy there. So let's get going here. Four grounds. Four grounds. And they were all on the back of this one pickup previously. So I'm not sure if we're going to do that the same way. Do it the same way. For squat here. This is bugging me. Like new fresh on there. Feels like. Oops, you do. Duluth Trading Ballroom President cheese. of the Hacks Job Incorporated coming up. Oh, look at that. Big old gross, nasty puddle. Lovely. Lovely. Whatever. It's nice when you really just don't care about a guitar whatsoever. Ding it all up when you're working on it. Don't care about it. It's not a customer guitar. It's one of mine. I just don't really just don't give a shit about Remember, it's his, oh, right, it's that fucking guitar. That fucking guitar. Tier three and four coming up. This one's a little bit of a reachy reach. be pretty but it's gonna work so oh well i don't know if you can see that right there is the wire i had to extend so i could do the flip flippy there of the uh, electronics put the three way to the back and the volume to the front let's see there's the neck pickup Four pounder. 
Hi, geez. Tell me about this card. That's a genuine four four two. Good. Good. Oh, this one is gonna be tight. Let's see. some slack got some slack there so ridge pickup it's a nice old the antiquity cloth wiring a little big I don't want to go into the into the hole Yeah, I got the uh, football plate wired up there. Boy, I tell you what, that input jack was rusty. How it got so rusty? I didn't think it was gonna come apart. It was bad. It was so bad. for that. Get that mounted up later. I have a drill up here right now, so it's going to have to wait. But I thought I would do just a little bit of So, yeah, I had to uh file down the uh, pick guard, make it fit over that plate with the bridge pickup mount. I had to be filed down. Again, I had to do some get pretty creative underneath that bridge pickup and mount that. Let's uh, pause for a second, get some sandpaper going, and we'll attack this headstock. All right, a little 220 here. And away we go. I mean, this is horrible. You can see the, you can see the work marks in this. You can see the orange peel. And this was so, so poorly done.
find any kind of mogul, any kind under the... Oh, 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 yes I am. There it is. There's the fender. There's the fender logo under there. Look at that. Mercy pause from the sanding. See what we see what we can come up with. All right, so I'm not gonna sand any more off of here. I got a Fender serial number MN413. I saw some more of it before I sanded it away accidentally. Um, you know, so I don't know what that is. I can do some checking on that serial number. See what that is. I mean. USA, if M stands for Mexico, what that is, I'll do a little bit of research. I mean, I know the serial number doesn't mean squat, really, but anyway, there she is. Kind of interesting. Finding what lies beneath. Cool. So, hey, thanks for watching. Uh, that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed this little bit of guitar archaeology. Thanks, guys.